Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. This video is a re-upload because I accidentally ended up forgetting to include a clip. Um, and this video was up for a while until I realized that I made a mistake, so I'm sorry about that. But for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a color changing squishy and some color changing slime. Honestly, both of these DIYs turned out really cool in my opinion. I really love how the squishy turned out. I think it's very, very unique. I'm going to keep this short, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. And without any further ado, let's get started. First off, I'm going to start by showing you guys how I made the color changing squishy. So for this, you're going to need memory foam. I got mine from Walmart. You can easily find like memory foam pillows. I have a piece of memory foam here and I'm going to trace out a circle shape like so. This is going to be our donut. I'm going in with my pair of scissors now and I'm gonna start cutting the foam. Try to cut this little by little and round off the edges as you go so that it actually kind of looks like a donut. Now if you want to make a filled donut, you can just leave it as it is, but because I wanted to make like a classic donut shape, I went ahead with my pair of scissors and I'm going to start cutting out the donut hole. This is really easy to do, you just want to poke your scissors in and just start cutting a circle. Very easy, very simple. To give the donut some color, we are going to be using fabric paint. So I took a lot of white and I mixed in some yellow and a teeny tiny bit of brown to get a nice beige color. I'm going to start blending the paint into the foam. Now it is better if you wear a pair of gloves when you're doing this, just so that you don't get paint all over your hands like I did. I unfortunately ran out of gloves. So that's basically why I ended up using my finger directly. Before I apply the color changing icing, I'm going to apply a thin layer of white fabric paint. This is completely optional, but I'm only doing this because memory foam does have like small little holes in it. So this is going to kind of fill it up for me before I actually do the final icing. For the color changing icing, I'm going to use acrylic paint and fabric medium because I ran out of fabric paint. So I just mixed in the two and you basically get fabric paint. Now you want to add in the magical ingredient, which is a color changing pigment. This one turns purple to turquoise and this is a heat sensitive pigment. So whenever it reaches 86 degrees Fahrenheit, it will change color. And if you guys are interested, by the way, I will leave a link down below for this pigment. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on top of our donut. And then as per usual, I'm going to add a cute laughing face to our donut and finish it off with some colorful sprinkles. By the way, because I live in Canada and it is really cold here, my hands are always cold. So if I rub my hands, they don't really get warm. So here I took a blow dryer and I'm showing you guys how the squishy is now turning into turquoise. And because my fingers were already cold, when I touch the squishy, you will see that it turns back into purple. So cool, right? I think this DIY turned out so awesome and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make color changing slime. So you're going to need white Elmer's glue, baking soda, contact solution, and finally some color changing pigment. This is the same exact pigment that I was using earlier, by the way. In a bowl, I added in half a cup of glue, one and a half teaspoon of the pigment, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then you want to mix that in. Finally, you want to add in your contact solution, keep mixing that in, and you want to keep adding contact solution until it turns into slime. And 
And here is the completed slime. So it is purple right now, but when I touch it with my warm fingers, it changes color. Here I have an ice bottle and I'm going to put the slime on top and here you can see that it is changing color again. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.